My people, what is crackalacking? How you guys doing today? It's uh, what is it? It's January 14th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. We are getting rain to start off this storm. I kind of figured that would happen, but I was hopeful that we would, you know, start off with snow. And it didn't start as early as anticipated. It never does. It never does. That'll be the day, you guys. That'll be the day. So how's everyone doing today? Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. Hope everyone's staying safe. <laughs> I really wish I could hear you guys live. <coughs> if it starts really dumping, we might do a live feed. It's possible. We'll see. There's a lot of people up here right now. So we're just gonna cruise around uh, through Big Bear City a little bit and then come back on the back roads. Do something a little different today, you know? As I say, I try to stick to the tourist type areas um, for the most part, but. I don't want you guys to think I'm lazy, but I didn't get to sleep till it was light outside. I have sleeping, like bad sleeping issues. And I was nervous for this storm, as always. <laughs> Anxious, nervous, whatever. So I just got up not too long ago. And look at look at the time. Look at how late that is. It's just... It's not like I ever get more than five hours of sleep, but when I get to sleep is the pathetic thing. Anywho, what we got going on with this storm, the amount of snow that they are predicting right now, it seems like it kind of let up a little bit, but I'll tell you what it says. So, well, actually today it looks like it could still be super, super heavy. Holy moly, it, it just changed on the Weather Channel app. So snow this morning will become heavy at times in the afternoon. High 38. You know what? You guys can actually see that. Chance of snow 100%. 5 to 8 inches of snow during the day and 5 to 8 inches of snow at night, you guys. Holy smoky leak. But uh, right now it currently says it's snowing outside. Of course it does. And then you guys come up here furious because it's raining. And then tomorrow, you guys three to five inches of snow and one to three inches at night and then the final day of our snowstorm nothing okay cool so i guess we're getting nothing on freaking oh wait no yesterday okay so <laughs> that was monday that i just did that showed us um let's see here three to five inches and one to three at night this is, this is tomorrow, you guys. Sorry, this is so confusing. I'm sorry, I, I just woke up. I'm freaking tired. But holy moly, guys. If all this pans out, we could get smashed. This is crazy. The numbers changed. So look, if if everything works out to the max today, it would be 8.8, eight, so 16 inches. Tomorrow, it would be about an inch and then eight more inches, so 25 inches. And then on Monday, three to five inches and one to three inches. So that's another eight inches possible. So we could get just under three feet of snow if everything works out to the maximum side of these predictions. Can you guys believe that? Three feet of snow, what is going on? You guys know how happy I would be? I, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably faint. I would literally faint. But you want you guys want to know the biggest problem though right now? Because it says it's snowing outside and it's snowing heavy. This is the biggest problem. Look at the temperature. I can I can promise you it's not snowing right now. It can snow at 40 degrees. Don't don't be fooled. It can. When I used to live in Denver, Colorado, it would snow at like 42 degrees, but um, I've seen it snow here at 40 degrees. It's just really big, fat, wet snowflakes, but it's because right above this 40 degrees, where we're at down here, it's 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 freezing. So this this water's going through this 
these different layers and uh, these layers are not too too thick so <coughs> look at this snow play part guys and no one is stoked because of the rain gosh guys like I really oh my gosh it's so packed holy smoky holy smoky the bear just just terrible you guys 40 degrees and my weather app says it's snowing outside just horrible and guys I mean yes this is tremendous for our lake so we need to be grateful for that Just try to be as grateful as we can about everything we have going good for us. <laughs> and for the weather, you know, any precipitation up here we are super super thankful for I mean it always comes with its pros and cons if we get a lot of precipitation one season then the next season we have to look out for massive massive uh, fires but I'd rather look out for that than have a drought but I guess in the, in the drought seasons you have to look out for massive fires too because there's more dry foliage being created out there um, so you could get bigger fires. Yeah, it's 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 a lose lose situation, I guess, <laughs> when it comes to the fires up here. But it is what it is. I'm gonna show you where I used to spend a lot of time with my wife at my wife's house. I miss it. I really do. It was a lot bigger than uh, than uh, my place. A lot bigger. <coughs> All right, right here at the very end where that blue car is right there. That was my wife's place. I miss it. I really, really, really miss it a lot. <laughs> because we had two places to go to. Anyway, we're on Sugarloaf Boulevard. This is a shortcut behind Big Bear Boulevard. Temperature is still 40 degrees, you guys. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not confident of the different layers being super cold right above us right now like the layer just above us being ridiculously cold uh, you know what I hope I really hope that this doesn't change into snow oh look good news as soon as I start talking smack it changed down to 39 degrees and I know when we go into the moon ridge area it, it could drop another another degree but uh, we need it to absolutely plummet the colder it is, the more snow you'll get. The colder it is, the more snow the the, um, the atmosphere squeezes out. The colder it is. It's kind of cool. When I lived in Denver, Colorado, it would get so cold sometimes that they would say it, it didn't snow because it was too cold to snow. I guess that's a truth as well. Yeah, I just wanted to drive a decent part of town here and show you guys that we're getting rain right now. You will have no issues getting up here. Traffic is probably gonna suck, like always. Rain, snow, hail. <clears throat> so just be extra cautious. Give yourself a lot of time to get here.
Okay, so we're gonna take the Fox Farm route to basically, basically we're gonna come out on, on Moon Ridge where the roundabouts are. That's exactly where we're gonna come out. And then we'll be done with the video. Look, yeah, as we're entering kind of Moon Ridge here, 38 degrees, we're at a higher elevation right now. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic in town right now, so. <clears throat> oh man, I'm so sad for these people. Being at the ski resort must be miserable right now. And that sledding park, jeez. Big Bear Snow Play, and uh, what's it called? Um, Magic Mountain, the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. It just amazes me how it says it's snowing right now. I know it's just a system error type thing. Whoa, that looked like some lightning over there. The other day I heard a loud clasp of thunder, it was awesome. I was hoping for more once it changed it changed over to snow, but it didn't. So right now we are on Cougar, and Cougar, if we turn around and go the other way, is McAllister, and then it turns into Fox Farm. Kind of pathetic, I know this. Why don't I get a life, right? Get a life. Nick, get a life, buddy. Okay, we're gonna turn left on Elm Street. Every town has an Elm Street. All right, coming up to the roundabout. Now we're on Moon Ridge Road, you guys. Now we're just gonna kind of take a, a little side street here for a moment. This is called Evergreen. <laughs> Beautiful homes over here. I, I, I point these homes out to you guys all the time. These are gorgeous houses. Massive homes with guest houses and stuff like that. Just and, and and I live literally just right across the street here, right across the next street over, which is Moon Ridge. You've got these mansions next to my shack. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, temperature has dropped down to 37 as we get closer to the resort. So maybe at the top, you know what? At the top of the resort, it's, it's gotta be snowing. But for those of you who show up into the parking lot, you're probably gonna be super bummed. But at the very top, it's I can guarantee you that it's snowing up there. So now we're gonna turn on Crestwood and head to Brownie Lane.
Brownie Lane now. Where's Cookie Lane? I want to go Cookie Lane. Just going home, bro. Sorry, I wonder how many rain checks they're gonna have to give out today. That is a bummer. If I was you guys up there right now, I know you're not watching this, but I would definitely ask for a rain check, like ASAP, because it, it's, it's gonna change over to snow in not too much time. So get your rain check now so you can come back. Because there's not much more time in the day to go skiing. Anyway, three and a half hours. So it's really important you guys do that. Anyway, I love you guys a lot, and we'll come back out when it snows. Peace.